Hey yo, everyone, Christopher Beast here. So a little bit ago, I released a first-person camera mod for Paul World. And in the process of releasing that mod, I have had a lot of people come to me with a bunch of debugging issues and being like, hi, I, I couldn't figure some stuff out. So I find it most relevant that I should probably make a full-blown tutorial to installing UE4SS and how to use it with both pack mods and regular mods. And that will be the purpose of today's video. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So in theory, it should not be that hard to set up UE4SS. However, um, we're just going to really go through every single step today and really some debugging you can do to make sure that each step did go correctly. So your first step is going to be installing UE4SS from their GitHub release page. This will be linked in the description down below, but in most mods that use UE4SS, mine included, will just have a link to UE4SS where you can click it and it will open the GitHub page. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download on the GitHub page the UE4SS X input version whatever dot zip, either 2.5.2 for older mods or version 3 for the newer mods. I don't think there is a major difference. I just know that mods from 3 won't work on 2, and I don't think it works the other way. I think you can use 3 for 2. Regardless, you're going to want to download the UE4SS X input. Now, where you're extracting that file that you just downloaded depends on your platform. If you're on Steam, you're going to be extracting it to Paul World, Paul, Binaries, Win64. But if you're on Game Pass, you're going to extract it to Xbox Games, Paul World, Content, Pal, Binaries, WinGDX. Okay. After extracting it, your file structure should look vaguely like this. If you are on Game Pass, you're going to rename the xinput13 file to xinput14. And in both options, you're going to find this ue4settings.ini file, and you're going to set the array cache to false. That is the basics of setup. However, there is a chance that something didn't work. The first chance to really do some debugging here to make sure that everything worked is if you've loaded into the game after extracting the folder, what is going to be created is a bunch of the runtime files for UE4SS. To make sure that these actually got created and are actually working, you're going to want to navigate to your PAL, binaries, and then either Win64 or WinGDK folder. And in here, you should see a UE4SS text document. If you do not see this, then your extract did not work properly, and I advise you to just restart the process. If you do see this, this document is a debugging file. You can open the text document and it will print a bunch of text for debugging. For a lot of you, this text will be way too much to really understand, but this text is vital for any mod authors and it can greatly help these mod authors actually understand how to fix whatever issue you are facing. But we're already in this video, so let's try to fix some of the basic issues here. One of the most common issues that I have gotten since creating the mod has been issues regarding the BP mod loader mod. The BP mod loader is something within UE4SS that allows for pack mods to work. The issue usually is, is that this file is not enabled on default. So what you're going to want to do is from that folder that we were just in, where you have the log file, you're going to click on the mods folder. Then you're going to click on the BP mod loader mod, and you should see a folder that has scripts and a text file called enabled. If you do not see this text file, make a new empty blank text file named enabled. This will enable the BP mod loader and as of such allow pack files to be run by UE4SS. If you've done this and you're still having issues, another possible fix that I've observed is that it is possible that you did not put the mod in the proper folder. The setup of this video, for example, did not even cover where you should be putting pack mods or regular mods. So let's first cover where you're going to be putting regular mods. From where we just were, you should see that mods folder where we just found the BP mod loader. Other mods are in that file. To add another mod, all you're going to have to do is drag the folder of that Lua type mod into this folder. 
This is only for Lua type mods, and be sure to check the documentation of whatever mod you're installing. Usually it will say where to install the file. But if you have a Lua type mod, this is where you drag it into. If you do not have a Lua mod, for example, my mod, the first person mod, is a blueprint mod. For these, you're going to have to go to content, packs, logic mods, which is a folder that is going to be created by UE4SS, and then put the mod here as a file, not as a folder. It should be noted that if you're using something like Vortex, Vortex will automatically install pack files and Lua mods to their proper location if the mod author set it up correctly. If you've done all this and it still doesn't work, there is still that debugging file that should provide a great amount of help to helping the mod author actually be able to help you fix whatever is wrong with your mod. And hopefully the mod author actually provides support for their mods. I hope this was helpful and hopefully this helps some people who have been having issues installing UE4SS uh, be able to actually get into Paul World modding. Um, but this has been Christopher Beast. I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, ciao.